Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the algebra of functions. So we're going to take a look at adding, subtracting, and multiplying functions. We'll take a look at algebraically composing them, and then we'll take a look at a composition application problem. So we're going to start with these two functions, f of x equals 2x minus 9, and g of x equals negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 9. And the first thing we'll do is add these functions. And it's always a good idea to use parentheses for these problems. And now we can just combine like terms. And this is going to leave us with negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 18. So we're going to do a similar thing when we subtract these functions. And a lot of people like to think as the subtraction right here, um, being a negative 1, that we are going to distribute to each of the terms in our second parentheses. And after we do that, we can combine our like terms. What we are going to see here is that the 2x minus 2x will cancel, and negative 9 and positive 9 will cancel, and our final answer then is just going to be a positive 3x squared. So the next thing we'll do is multiply these functions. And one way to think about this is distribution. So we're going to take the first term here, which is 2x, and we're going to distribute it to each of the three terms in our second parentheses. So remember, when we multiply terms with the same base, we add our exponents. And so far, we have a negative 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 18x. And we'll take our second term in the first parentheses, that negative 9, and we will also distribute it to each of those three terms. And I like to write my terms below the first terms. Makes it easier to combine our like terms for a final answer of negative 6x cubed plus 31x squared minus 36x plus 81. Next, we will look at composition. So what this means is that we're going to take our function g and we're going to plug it into f. I like to rewrite my composition to read like this, f of g of x, and do a series of substitutions. So what we know is that g of x is this entire second function. So we can rewrite that to read f of negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 9. And again, what that means is everywhere there's an x in our function f, we're replacing it with this entire other function. So instead of reading 2x minus 9, it is going to read 2 times our function g minus 9. If we go ahead and distribute our 2 and combine like terms, we'll get our final answer of negative 6x squared plus 4x minus 27. So lastly, we'll take a look at g composed with f of x. So this time we are putting f into our function g. So again, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as g of f of x. And we know that f of x was 2x minus 9, so g of 2x minus 9. So again, what this means is that everywhere that we have an x in our function g, we are replacing it with 2x minus 9. So initially, this is going to read negative 3 times 2x minus 9 squared plus 2 times 2x minus 9 minus 9. So the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and FOIL with this first parentheses, and we will distribute for our second parentheses. And we will again need to distribute in our first parentheses here. We'll combine these like terms. And combining the like terms that we have left, we'll get a final answer of negative 12x squared plus 112x minus 270. So what you notice is that the order of composition does matter. And now we'll take a look at a composition application. Okay, so here's our real situation. We have that the temperature, which is given by big T in degrees Fahrenheit, is given in terms of the chirp rate of a tree cricket. So the chirp rate is given 
by big R in chirps per minute. So the function that models this relationship is given to us. It's a 1 fourth R plus 40. And the chirp rate varies with time. Okay, so X represents our number of hours since midnight. And that relationship is given by R of X equals 20 plus X squared. So the first thing we want to do is find this composition T of R of X. So initially we can write this as T of 20 plus X squared. So what we know is that we are putting our function R into T. Now T says that we should have 1 fourth R plus 40 and we are replacing R with what it's equal to, the 20 plus X squared. So initially we have 1 fourth 20 plus X squared plus 40. If we distribute and simplify, we'll end up with 1 fourth X squared plus 45. Now in order to explain what this represents, I like to remind ourselves exactly what's going on. When we compose two functions, we're essentially eliminating a variable. We're eliminating the middleman. So we started with T of R of X. And what we know is that the middleman is this variable R. So what we end up with is T as a function of X for that composite function. If we can get to that point, it makes it a lot easier to explain what this represents. So this function is going to give us T if we know X. In other words, it's going to give us the temperature as a function of the number of hours since midnight. So if we want to finish this by finding the air temperature at 7 a.m., we are going to use our composite function because that's what our composite function gives us, is the temperature if we know the number of hours since midnight. So plugging in 7 for x will give us an answer of about 57.3 degrees Fahrenheit at 7 a.m. I hope this has been helpful.